I'm not just going to accept any Tom, Dick and Harry who's like, I'm into you, marry me. Ugh. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tari Karimba. If you are returning, welcome back, sweetie. And if you are new, welcome to the family, okay? Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the video. So today I'm answering the assumptions that you guys made about me on Instagram. If you don't already follow me, at Tari Karimba, please follow me. So let's start with the first one. <laughs> so the first one is you have makeup on every day there was a time in my life when I did but I'm a changed woman okay <laughs> I don't wear makeup every day anymore and I mean I'm always at home now so there's really no reason but also there's a time that I ran out of product when lockdown started and we couldn't buy makeup so I couldn't wear makeup every day to practice because you know it would finish and then I wouldn't be able to film and then that would just be really bad so yeah I don't wear makeup in every day anymore the next one is you don't like big groups and you keep to yourself that is absolutely true I don't like big groups I feel very anxious when I'm around a lot of people and I definitely like to keep to myself or if it's not keeping to myself then people who are you know in my circle so I'm okay being around my close family or my friends but outside of that I really I like to be alone I don't like being around people I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. The next thing is, <laughs> my cousin made this assumption. He says, you have expensive taste. Well. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> um, no. I mean, we all like nice things. We all like nice things. I like nice things, but wait until i have my chanel money and my gucci money then you guys will really see but um right now i wouldn't say like i have expensive taste i just like nice things and sometimes i have an eye for nice things that are not expensive yeah the next one is you have your life figured out yeah <laughs> i've always been that kind of person um since I was really young, I knew what I wanted to do, when I wanted to do it, and all of that. But obviously, when I got to uni and I started studying law, I realized that this is not for me. I have no business being here. I shouldn't be here. But obviously, I was like, no, let me just stick it out to the end and finish what I started. So obviously, when I started uni, I had my life figured out in terms of becoming an attorney or an advocate. And then obviously, I realized that, yo, this is not my thing. So in the last year, I've been, you know, I started working on figuring out my life, yeah, last year in 2019. And then, yeah, I think I definitely have it figured out now. I'm just, you know, trying to take the necessary steps. And ultimately, I'm just like, God must have his way. I may have my plans, but he knows what's best for me. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is, you are the most chilled person and it takes a lot to get you heated. I think that's very true. I am definitely a really chilled person. Um, I don't get angry quickly, but when I do get angry, <laughs> it's a mess, guys. It's a mess. That's why I really, really work hard to make sure that I control myself and my temper and just things that I allow to get to me because, yeah, when I do end up really, like, angry it's hectic <laughs> the next one is you are a kind-hearted person who puts everyone first thank you i i think i am honestly and i definitely am someone who puts um everyone else first and i'm really trying to unlearn that because i have really been burnt in friendships and relationships because of being that kind of person so i'm trying to find a balance but yeah i'm definitely yeah, that was a good assumption. The next question is from my cousin and she's catching feelings. She says, you're your grandma's favorite. I'm challenging you for the title, girl. It's not an assumption because it's a fact, okay? I'm Wea's favorite. Get over it, accept it, and, you know, find peace. <laughs> now I'm joking. I mean, I don't think Mbuya has favorites. She loves all of us. Um yeah i'm not a favorite 
I don't think anyone's a favorite, but I mean, if I am, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> uh, the next one is crazy. It says you come from a very, very, very rich family. First of all, I receive your prediction of my life, okay? Yeah, money is going to flow, okay? <laughs> Money is going to flow and a rich family is going to come from me. But um, now nah, that's not a correct assumption. I don't come from a rich family at all. But I definitely come from a family that always makes sure that I have everything that I need. And yeah, guys, I really appreciate my family because they definitely go hard for me. But yeah, are we like very, very, very rich like it says here? No. No, ma'am. Big no, ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Not at all. <laughs> okay, so the next one says you're a loving and easygoing person, but on YouTube you look hella angry sometimes or aloof with a shocked face. <laughs> yeah okay so the first part of your assumption loving and easygoing definitely i am loving i am easygoing um and then the on youtube you look hella scary yeah you know what yeah you're right i really i i watched back like to see some of my videos and just to see how I look on camera and you know the vibes that I give off on camera and I definitely understand where you're coming from but at the same time yeah I'm someone who genuinely like if you see me I have a resting bitch face and it's so sad because you know I'll be thinking that I'm doing you know that young smile that's like low-key but like not there just like the whole she's cool calm and collected I'll be thinking yeah I've got that on my face right now and then I actually see myself or someone comes to me and they're like yo are you okay why are you angry then I realized that actually I look really angry right now so I think that I definitely need to work on my facial expressions because that is uh, something I get a lot um, especially when people don't know me yeah but at the same time I feel like I also need to find a way to strike a balance because a lot of my videos up until recently were always like serious so i mean motivation monday serious i can't be telling you get your life together ha 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 you know obviously like it's serious i need to be serious so i think i need to find a way to be serious without being um angry looking or aloof so yeah i will try yo guys all these congratulations you you win an iphone 11 scams it's just so annoying so so annoying you okay so the next assumption is you can't cook me first of all what but actually i really you guys like cooking is one of my happy places alongside makeup and like you know i feel like things that i use my hands to do are things that i'm just really good at so i cook honey okay i can cook i can bake i can do all of that okay follow me on instagram i often post things that i would have cooked or made or whatever on my insta stories so yeah i can cook the next assumption is that i'm a diva and i'm bougie what <laughs> First of all, I'm not a diva at all. I I just I I know what I want and I know how I want things done. So sometimes I can be pedantic about that, but I'm not a diva at all. Am I bougie? No. Not at all. I'm not bougie. I mean like guys, like anyone, I like nice things, but I'm not bougie. I'm just a regular regular person. <laughs> the next one says, I think you're picky when it comes to dating guys. As I should be <laughs> that assumption is correct I'm definitely picky but I mean if history serves I wasn't picky enough in the past so I'm definitely going to be um, pickier moving forward but I mean it's not about being picky it's just about knowing what you want and what you knowing what you bring to the table and what you deserve so I mean I'm not just going to accept any Tom Dick and Harry who's like I'm into you marry me Ugh. get out of here Get out of here, man! Guys, no, that's not how it works. Like, you need to know what you want and what you don't want. Um, yeah, 
because there's more to being in a relationship with someone than you know them saying i like you so that's what i believe and obviously because that's what i believe um there's certain things that i expect or want or whatever but i don't think that makes me picky i think that just makes me someone who is self-aware <laughs> the next one is you were a cool kid in high school no <laughs> I was not a cool kid in high school. I was not a cool kid in uni. I was just a civilian, guys. Like, I've always been the type of person who generally just does my own thing. Like, I obviously have friends and I have people that I get along with and, like, people that I don't have beef with. And I really just mind my own business, guys. So, yeah, no. I was never cool um, in high school. Um, I wasn't cool in uni either. Like I said, I was just a civilian. Eh. The next one is... You are bougie and you do your nails at Camelot and go for, sp for spa treatments regularly. Girl, I receive what you're speaking of my life, but no. Um, no. Fun fact, I do my own nails, well, as of when? I think September, no. October. Since October last year, I actually haven't gone to get um, a manicure or anything done. I got... A packet of 500 sticker nails from Amazon and that's what I do I just do my own nails at home and then I use gel nail polish on top so whenever you see my nails looking nice they're stick-ons guys like I can't be asked I can't be asked to pay that money as for regular massages I wish I have so much tension in my back right now a massage would be nice but no I definitely don't, don't do that I can count how many times I've been to a spa to get a massage so no but you know one day it would be nice if that could be the regular thing the next one is you do not eat traditional food girl do you know me <laughs> i love traditional food so much like every time i go back home everyone knows that if you're gonna make rice pasta whatever count me out because i'm having sadza nemobora sadza netsunga um haifiridzi guys like i'm out here about madora derere mutakura guys i could go on and on and on but like i love traditional food ultimately i'm a foodie okay i love good food but i definitely have a soft spot in my heart for traditional food from back home absolutely okay so i'm gonna stop here with the assumptions because some of these assumptions are too hectic for this channel okay this channel is pg okay so i'm just gonna keep it there guys hectic 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 assumptions but um yeah we're gonna leave those they're not gonna make it onto the channel today but yeah um this was just a fun video just to talk and chit chat and just you know do what we do best but yeah thank you so much for tuning in and yeah quite a lot of you actually got the assumptions right which is cool i'm glad that you know just from like interacting with me on social media um and on youtube you have been able to pick up on a lot of things that are actually true about me um but yeah that's actually cool it just shows it just goes to show that when i come on camera i'm not being fake or inauthentic or whatever so i like that Okay guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe.